Okay, this is my reunion bottle finish. Finally. Now one thing that I do is before I do the base coat on my bottles, I sand off the same lines on the bottle. Uh, that way, no matter which way you turn the bottle, you're not going to see two big ugly seams running down the side of your bottle. That drives me crazy. I just think that if you're going to spend that much time and effort into painting a bottle from tip to bottom, you know, you might as well go ahead and sand off the seams so they don't show. Um, in all the screenshots of prop bottles I saw, um, I've never seen a seam one, so I assume that they sanded them off um, on the on the TV show and for the movies. Because I've never ever seen a seam one in any prop bottle screenshots. Um, the base coat is really beautiful. It's a deep metallic plum. Uh, sometimes when I take photographs of this bottle, the camera flash actually gives it a little bit more grape color, that deep bluish purple. But it's actually very rich plum. It has that slight hint of red tone to it to keep the base coat from looking that bluey purple color. Um, and another thing, sometimes when I take photographs of this bottle, the camera flash drowns out the green or the red or the blue. Um, but in person, you can really tell a difference um, from the photos. That, that This line here is light sea green and um, you know it, it stands out much better. Uh, let me get away from the light a little bit so maybe you can see. Hopefully that's showing up pretty good. But I worked really 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 hard on this bottle. Um, especially on the arches and the windows there. Um, so sometimes even on really expensive bottles uh, the clover shapes, or whatever you want to call them, are not always lined up perfectly. Uh, they don't always start and stop at the same place in each column. So that was one of my main main goals that I wanted to do, is make, make sure that each shape started and stopped in the same place in every column. That way it looks really nice and even. And they all end, you know, the same same exact spot, so you don't have one that hangs down really low and then one that's really short. Um, something I worked really hard at trying to get just right. Now I made a few artistic changes to my bottle, um, just based on my personal preferences. Of course if you wanted it, you know, painted exactly the way it was on the screen with the uh, thinner, more wiry looking cobra section down here the little dot underneath the larger loop. I can do that. It's just that I thought a bolder cobra section would stand out better. And I never really like the little tiny dot they put underneath the larger loop. Um, I also added a, a line at the bottom of the bolt there to kind of finish it out. I really think it should have had a line down there in the movie, but it didn't. And um, in each one of my clover shapes, I did two green dots and two blue dots instead of one red and four green. Uh, so, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it gives it a little bit more pop when you look at it. It just makes it, you know, more aesthetically pleasing to look at. But I worked so hard on this bottle, and I love it. Purple is so hard to get on camera to show up just right. Now I haven't done the final clear coat on this, so when that's done, it'll even be shinier than it is now. But it's actually very shiny. And I custom mixed the gold color for this bottle. A lot of the golds you see are way too brownish looking or they're flat if they're not brown they're really really flat but this the gold on this has got a super bright metallic shimmer and shine the 
that is my reading bottle. I hope that kind of gets you a better idea of what it looks like. 